In this video, we will explain how the filter options of Overlyzer work. You find filter options in the desktop version on the left hand side of your screen. Uh, in the mobile version, you have a little icon to the top right where you can set up your filters. This is the main screen for filters where you can um, pick some different situations of a game uh, to filter out games. You also have some quick preset filters here, for example, more than 65% possession, more than 15 shots on target, more than 15 corners and so on. For example, if we click this one, more than 65% possession, we'll get eight games filtered out of 40 total life games at the moment. So in all of these games, there is at least 65% possession for one of the teams. So we uncheck that now. And then we got my filter. Currently we have no filter saved. If we go back here to filter, we can take a look on what exactly we can select here. Uh, first of all, we can set up our own favorites. So if we just set if we click this this little star icon here in, in two games, for example, and click on favorites, so only the favorites are filtered, we see there are now two games out of 40, namely those two uh, that we just clicked. So you can make a favorite list here. We will uncheck them for now. Here you can have a look on all the leaks where currently live football is going on so for example if you only want to see games from Estonia you click it and you see at the moment there is one game from Estonia uh, you can set also more for example Estonia and German Bundesliga then you got five out of 40 and you can uncheck them again and delete your selection but the more important the more interesting thing is um, what you can do with this filter regarding, for example, situation in game progress, game pressure, or events. You can choose your own, uh, for example, difference in possession, uh, team possession for any of the teams, home team or away team. Uh, the same thing with the pressure index, uh, which is also in percent. Uh, then you can check in which minute the game should be at least or at maximum um, then you can check the total game pressure uh, the total game pressure is the the little feature right here it's the offensive factor of a game uh, as we see in this game for example Mipa against Sudet it's 4-2 at the moment it's 40 percent total pressure over the whole game and 28% over the last 10 minutes. So this is a very offensive uh, situation here. Both both teams doing something for the game as we also see in the result currently. Uh, you could say at 30% uh, or above it's a game where many things are happening. You can also filter this here. Uh, life is less 10 minutes average is the whole game. And then of course you can uh, filter goals, attacks, corners, shots on target and off target, as well as red cards and also the odds, uh, pre-game and live odds. So you can make your own filter for a little odds comparison. Uh, and always you, you, you see this little, these little arrows here. Uh, you got some more, some more, uh, features right here. Um, the most, most interesting thing uh, should be the, the difference of goals or the difference in uh, pressure. And this is how, what we, what we will try now. It's, uh, if we pick difference pressure. Uh, we want only games where the pressure difference between the two teams is at least 30%. So we type this in and now there are 15 out of 40 games filtered. That's uh, quite a lot. So we will make this a little tighter and say at least 40% difference in pressure. Now we got 10 out of 40. And as you can see here, 
we only get those games now where the difference between the two teams is at least 40% in pressure. So there are quite clear pressure situations. Here we got a big difference, for example, they just scored uh, their second goal. And here the difference here is about 50%. Um, as you could see, uh, just uh, the screen just jumped a bit. It's because um, games where this doesn't apply anymore uh, fall out of the filter. And it could also be that new games coming in at the moment. We have 11 out of 40. As we started, we had 10 out of 40. And if we decide to use this filter regularly, we can go on save right here. Then we pick a name. I'll call this pressure difference 40%. Click the little save icon here. Now the filter is saved and you can find it here in my filters. And of course, as a registered user, you can set up as many filters as you like. And also with all of these filter options, you can also combine some situations that are interesting for you and uh, for the the type of betting you do. So this is how to use the overlyzer filter.